Okay, so good day. Um, for this week, we're going to discuss uh, for week four, resistance and Ohm's law. So in the previous week, we have already discussed the fundamentals quant uh, fundamental quantities of electricity or the electrical quantities. So uh, it is the charges, the current, and the um, even the, the smallest particles in the uh, in the electricity was discussed in the previous weeks. So for now, we're going to discuss and understand the importance of resistance and Ohm's law. So by definition, uh, we can have the, de uh, the terminology resistance as defined as it is the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. A short circuit is an electric offering little or no resistance to the flow of current. Resistance is measured in ohms, symbolized by the Greek letter omega. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin na itong definition na to? So, yung resistance po natin, of course, this is, the, this is a quantity that tries to um, give the current or the flow of electricity a hard time passing through it. So, kumbaga parang uh, siya yung diniscuss natin last time, so uh, wa uh, water pipeline analogy, where in yun yung pipeline na parang crooked, no? or yung parang pinisil mo na, uh, parang pinisil natin na plies, where in yung tubig is hin uh, constricted or yung pressure niya is nagbibuild up doon, hindi siya ganong nakakadaan agad. So yung resistance natin is ganon din po. It is made up of different particles that collides with the electrons as as electrons flows through it. No? So, pagdaan ni electrons doon, hindi siya nakakadaan agad kasi meron tayong mga particles doon na binabangga yung mga electrons. No? So, pag nabangga ang electrons, di ba pupunta yun sa ibang, uh, hindi, hindi niya mapupursue yung direction na pinupursue niya. Kung siya ay nag, nagtatravel linearly, no? si electrons natin, pag siya ay may nabangga, okay, so therefore, uh, may hirapan siya na mag- uh, ma-build up ulit yung uh, ma-build up ulit yung kanyang speed or yung kanyang uh, flow no doon sa ating circuit. So let's try to draw that. If uh, possible. Okay, so let's say this is your uh, particle sa loob ng ating resistor. So we have your different uh, particles as composed by your resistor. And so, uh, imagine those being uh, being circles. Okay? So, ang resistor natin is, uh, this is connected to a circuit, di ba? So, let's say this is a circuit. Okay? So, ito yung terminals niya. Okay? So, since siya ay connected dito sa circuit natin, so, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng flow of electrons. So, magkakaroon tayo ng flow of electrons here, di ba? So, may flow of electrons tayo. Si flow of electrons, dahil sinabi po na linear po siya, no? gumagalaw siya, mababangga siya dito. No? Pag nabangga siya dito, no? pupunta na siya sa ibang lugar dito. Then, mabangga ulit. Then, kung saan siya makapunta, no? para siyang bump car. Hanggang makalabas siya dito. Okay. So as you can see here, from linear motion na dapat uh, supposedly sa ating circuit, magkakaroon siya ng iba't ibang uh, lugar or magkakaroon ng iba't ibang uh, direction. That is why kaya ang symbol natin for uh, resistor is ganito. No? Dahil po, yung ating mga particles din sa loob ay ginawa para po i-normalize or i-control yung flow of pressure or yung current natin dito compared dito. Okay, so magkakaroon ng difference here and uh, the difference here, so let's say this is a pressure 1, then yung pressure 2 or yung current 1, current 2 natin. So magkakaroon ng slight difference of flow. No? Kaya po, ang nangyayari is yung current natin uh, flowing here. No? Pag nalalagyan natin siya na resistance, yung nagkakaroon ng variance doon sa tinatawag nating tatlong fundamental quantities of um, Ohm's law. Si voltage, si current, at saka si resistance. 
Okay? So, silang tatlo ay affected once meron pong isa na magbago ng value dyan. Okay? So, that is the concept of resistors. Kaya po, pag nilalagay natin yung resistors, depende kung anong value yung gusto mo. Even yung smallest natin, pwede tayo maglagay ng 1 ohm, no? 5 ohms. Pwede natin siya palakihan up to 5k ohms or 5 kilo ohms. Pwede pa natin siya palakihan hanggang 10 mega ohms. Hanggang sa, pwede natin siya palakihan hanggang 100 mega ohms. Okay? So, sabi po dito, a circuit, uh, short circuit is an electric offering little or no resistance to the flow of current. Ibig sabihin po, uh, please take note of this na lang. Little or no resistance to the flow of circuit. Now, the resistance is measured by ohms. Okay, so unit natin for resistance is ohms, symbolized by the Greek letter omega. Okay, so ito po yun, omega. So let me just erase that. Okay, ayan. Okay, so as you can see here, when you put a voltage across a resistor, there is a current in that resistor. The ratio of the voltage to the current is called resistance of the resistor. So sabi daw po dito, when you uh, derive Ohm's law, so there is a, a direct proportionality between your resistance to your voltage and your uh, resistance to your current. So uh, direct, indirectly proportional to your current. So ngayon, the current in a resistor is directly proportional to the voltage across a resistor. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating Ohm's law. We're in. You can derive V, R, I. Okay? So, we're in yung R natin is equal to V over I. Then, yung I natin is equal to V over R. Then, uh, ganun lang siya. No? Pwede nyo pong gawing reference to para po hindi nyo makalimutan yung ohms law natin. So, when you put a voltage across a resistor, so let's say you have here a circuit. Um, let's say you have a bulb here. So, meron ka daw voltage V dito, meron ka resistance R. Then, you have here a flowing I or current. No? So, meron ka dyan magpo-flow ng current. So, si voltage mo can, any value, can be any value. Then, it will, uh, it will go here. So, magpo-flow siya with the, volt, uh, with the current I. Then, yun ang magsusupply ng ating voltage to the load natin. So, ito yung load natin or yung pin pinapupuntahan ng ating kuryente kung sa siya napunta. Okay? So, that is the um, circuit analysis of that. So, it is important for you to understand this fundamental concept since this is a review no, of your circuits because ito yung magiging, uh, ito yung magiging stepping stone nyo uh, towards understanding a much complex circuit or a much difficult cir circuit. So, yung voltage natin is yung the one responsible of creating a pressure or creating the, uh, the current towards that circuit. So, please do remember that your Ohm's law is this one. No? Okay? So, kung ang hinahanap sa inyo ay yung voltage, then you will uh, have to, uh, kung hinahanap ay voltage, then you have to get the current multiplied by your resistance. Pag naman yung resistance yung hinahanap natin, pwede V over I. Then, pag naman ay ang hinahanap natin, it's just equal to V over R. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, do, uh, let's try again. So, resistor natin, we have a unit uh, ohms. No? So, ito yung unit natin, yung ohms. Then, yung ating unit for voltage would be volts. 
Then yung unit natin for current is ampere. Or pwedeng amps na lang. Okay? So, yan yung mga uh, unit natin. Ampere or amps, then volts, then ohms. This definition of resistance is consistent with our understanding that the resistance of the resistor is a measure of how lousy a conductor is. So, as I've said or discussed, yung resistance natin or resistance of any material is indirectly proportional or the direct reciprocal of your uh, of your conductance. So that is indirectly proportional to your conductance. So it determines how lousy a conductor is. Ibig sabihin, the higher the resistance, the lower your conductance is. Okay? Same as, pag ginamit mo naman siya in a different aspect. So the lower the resistance, the higher the conductance your material is. So therefore, with that understanding, we can derive that your conductance G with the unit of mo is equal to 1 over your resistance. Okay? So yun yung direct nating understanding with that. So uh, the, the reciprocal of resistance is what we call the conductance. Therefore, you can get or uh, you can get the conductance of a simple material by dividing that into uh, getting the re direct reciprocal of that product. Okay. Okay, so it is stated here that in Ohm's law, by definition, this is a law stating that the electric current is proportional to voltage. So let's take note of that. Electric current is proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. So yun yung diniscuss natin kanina. No? So meron tayong direct, uh, meron tayong relationship between your resistance and your voltage and your current. So as you can see here, check nga natin, electric current is proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to your resistance. Okay, so that is correct. The term Ohm's law refers to one of the fundamental relationship. So ito pong Ohm's law natin, it will be always uh, be used no, in the, in, even in your actual life. No? So don't ever... Uh, don't ever think na hindi nyo mapapakinabangan yung Ohm's Law even in the future because um, Ohm's Law is a fundamental knowledge that we can use no, kahit sa bahay nyo lang magaga nagagamit po yung Ohm's Law na yan. Especially there are simple electric electricity problems. Okay? So, uh, you can solve uh, you can solve your electric consumptions no, using, uh, using Ohm's Law. So this is found in an electric, uh, electronic circuits that for a given resistance, current is directly proportional to voltage. Okay? So itong, ano, itong nasa baba is hindi ko na masyado hindi discuss no? because na-discuss na natin doon sa last slide. Okay, sabi dito, if the material of which a resistor is made obeys Ohm's law, then the resistance R is constant, meaning that the value is the same for different voltages. The relation R is equal to V over I is typically written as voltage is equal to IR. Ito pong statement na to, no? pwede din daw po siyang i-rewrite na ganito. Yun po yung dinerive natin kanina no? na formula for voltage. So if may books kayo mabasa na V is equal to IR ang Ohm's law, so that is also the same. So, sabi dito sa Ohm's law, the resistance R in the expression VIR is a constant. So, paano po siya naging constant? Kasi po, yung resistance R po natin, uh, it depends on the kung, kung ano yung nilagay mo na value of resistance. Ibig sabihin, sa circuit po natin, let's say you, you have given, uh, let's draw a circuit here. So, let's, let's say you have the drawn here. So you have a voltage V, you have an I, then you have an R here. Okay. 
So, ibig sabihin po, kung yun ay ilagay nating 10 kilo ohms, okay, so that would be constant in whole in the whole um, solving uh, proper natin. Hindi po yan pwedeng magbago because that is the value of your resistance. Ibig sabihin, if we have given here, uh, let's say you have uh, 4 milliampere current, then if you want to have the voltage for that is you just need to multiply or the constant is 10 kilo ohms. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya mababago. Multiply to your current which is 4 milliampere. So, cancel lang natin yung dalawa. So, therefore, V natin is equal to 40 ohms. Okay? So, it does not change. Okay, so hindi siya pwede mabago no? in, in any condition. Kasi dapat po, ang sinusunod natin condition when we are solving different problems is the ideal condition. no? So dalawa po kasi yung conditions natin. Yung ideal natin wherein all, all conditions are met or all, um, all conditions of the system is ideal or sumusunod dun sa talagang theoretical assumption natin. Kung baga, ano siya, it is operating in a perfect world or, or in a perfect system. Pero kung hindi naman or gusto mo is yung uh, practical application nun, so yun yung practical na tinatawag natin. Ibig sabihin, dito napasok yung totoong nangyayari. No? So yun yung dalawang operation natin, si ideal at si practical. So practical natin, ibig sabihin, dito napasok yung mga noises natin, no? yung mga power losses na na nagiging uh, factor din kung bakit hindi natin na ma-maximize yung uh, na ma-maximize yung reading doon sa circuit. So as you can see here, in an ideal, in ideal condition, ang sagot natin would be 40 volts, no? Pero pag yan ay ginawa mong practical or hinahanap mo sa akin yung practical, ibig sabihin dito tayo gagamit ng meter, no, yung multimeters natin. So kung gagamit tayo ng multimeter, ang basa natin dito would not be exactly 40 uh, 40 ohms no. Pwedeng yan ay nasa 39.997 ganun. So meron siyang simple uh, uh, maliit lang naman no na difference. Malapit siya sa true value pero hindi siya yung totoong uh, value because meron tayong mga factors na kino-consider sa practical such as yung losses natin or kaya yung uh, mga na, mga nawalang charge no so yung mga um, napakadaming factors when it comes to practical so ideally sinusunod natin siya because yun yung theoretical or yung uh, sumusunod tayo sa by theory pero yung practical is kung ano talaga yung naging application niya sa totoong buhay okay so please take note of that that the answer may vary no baka kasi po for example gumawa kayo ng circuit tapos uh, may measure niyo siya using a uh, voltmeter or using a uh, uh, dito is kumawag kayo na ohmmeter. No? Then, uh, nang, ang nasolve mo is 40 ohms. No? Kumamit ka na ohms law, sinolve mo siya 40 ohms. Pero ang lumabas sa meter mo would be 39.997. So, that is also correct. No? Ay, nagkaroon lang kayo ng theoretical understanding at experimental understanding about the problem. So, ohms law is good for resistors made in certain materials called ohmic materials over a limited range of voltages. So yung ohmic materials mo natin is ito yung mga devices wherein it helps uh, to control voltages. So mag meron tayo kasing uh, uh, voltage to current diagram. No? Yung voltage to current diagram here natin that we understand that the, the behavior of certain resistors can be a graph. No? Na pag ginraph natin siya is mas maiintindihan natin yung uh, behavior or yung uh, characteristic curve niya. Okay. So, mas maintindihan natin yung characteristic curve. Ibig sabihin, mas maintindihan mo kung ano yung approaches niya when a certain voltage is applied to that. No? Kung, kung nag-apply ba ako ng voltage na gantong amount, ano mangyayari? Ano pong mangyayari pag gantong current? Okay? So, or anong resistance ang dapat when, uh, in order for me to have this kind of voltage? So, uh, you can better understand the relationship for that material. Okay? So let's erase this. Okay. All right. So um, I I guess um, para po magkaroon tayo ng understanding for um, Ohm's law, let me give you an example. No. 
Okay, so wait lang. Okay, so let's try a problem so that uh, so that po meron tayong um, understanding of the Ohm's law. So dito ko na lang siya ilalagay. No? Okay, so uh, let's try um, the current. Okay, lagyan natin number. No? Pasensya na dito na lang tayo magsulat. The current flowing through uh, resistor. is 0 0.8 ampere potential difference 20 volts supply determine the value of resistance okay so this is a sample problem um, let's try to solve that. So we have here, um, we have here a uh, problem. Na, na, ang nakalagay dito ay the current flowing through a resistor is 0 0.8 amperes with potential of 20 volts is supplied. So para mas maintindihan natin, let's try to draw that. No? So let's say we have here a circuit. So sabi daw ay meron kang uh, voltage, then meron kang uh, resistance then meron kang uh, wala kang load. Ngayon, ang, ang binigay sa inyo voltage is 20 volts. So, so may 20 volts ka, meron ka daw current na 0 0.8 amperes. Pinapahanap sa inyo is yung resistance. So, paano natin siya yung solve? So, we will use yung formula na diniscuss natin kanina. We have R is equal to V over I. Therefore, yung V natin is equal to 20 volts over I natin na 0 0.8 ampere. Okay. So using your scientific calculator, you can get the answer. Resistance natin is equal to 25 ohms. Okay. So that is your answer for that question. So let's try a much, uh, much harder problem. So number two, determine the potential difference. Okay, so the question here is to determine the potential difference which must be applied to a 2 kilo ohm resistor in order that a current of 10 milliampere may flow. So, hindi na ako magdo-drawing na circuit because you have the understanding of the, uh, the ohm's law. So, we all know that deriving the potential difference will give us V is equal to I multiplied to your resistance. You have there your current of 10 milliampere. Meron ka ding 2 kilo ohm resistor. So therefore, you have 10 milliampere multiplied to 2 kilo ohm. So please take note na meron kang milli at meron kang kilo. So therefore, ang pagtatype niyan would be 10 times 10 raised to negative 3. Then you have here 2 times 10 raised to Okay, so therefore, makukuha natin, cancel, cancel, would be just 20. Then, ang unit natin would be volts. So, 20 volts. Okay? 
So, last problem. So, let's try a much harder problem. Okay, so it is stated here that the problem is a 100 volts energy is connected to a resistor, uh, uh, connected across a resistor and causes a current of 5 milliampere to flow. Determine the resistance of the resistor if the voltage, uh, sorry, resistor, and if the voltage is now reduced to 25 volts, what will be the new current flowing? So solve natin siya. Unahin muna natin yung unang tanong. Ang unang tanong is to determine a resistance of the resistor. So ngayon, meron kang 100 volts, then meron kang 5 milliampere. So yun muna yung hanapin natin. No? So gawin natin is to determine resistance by having volts over your current. So ang value natin for volts is 100 volts over 5 milliampere, 5 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay. So, we can solve that using a calculator. So, makukuha nating sagot would be 20,000 ohms or 20 kilo ohms. Okay. So, yun yung una nating sagot. Ngayon, since meron daw tayong value ng 20 kilo ohms as your resistor, again, as stated, no, again, ulitin ko po, as stated doon sa ating condition kanina that the resistance is constant. Take note, resistance is constant, hindi na babago. Ngayong nakuha mo na yung value ng resistance, hindi mo na pwedeng baguhin yan, no, at any other, in any conditions. Therefore, ngayong pinapahanap sa inyo ang isa pang, um, isa pang condition, if the voltage is now reduced to 25 volts, what will be the new current flowing? Ngayon, ang pinapahanap naman sa inyo is I. Diba? So, yung I natin is equal to V over R. Ngayon, pwede kayo magtaka or pwede nyo isipin, uh, iba na kaya ang value ng uh, resistance natin since yung ating um, value ng voltage is na iba. Hindi po. No? So, yun ay same pa din. Therefore, your voltage, your new voltage daw is equal to 25 volts over yung ating uh, value ng ating uh, resistance which is 20 kilo ohms. Okay? So, uh, by calculator, uh, sulat nyo na lang, or type nyo would be 25 over 20 times 10 raised to, uh, sorry, raised to positive 3 yun ha raised to positive 3, then you will get for your current a value of 1.25 milliampere or 1.25 times 10 raised to negative 3 ampere. Okay. So that would be three sample problems for Ohm's law so that you can better understand the concept or the theory behind that. Okay, so I hope you understand the lesson or the lesson for this week. So that would be also important for you to have a better understanding about circuits in the near future. Okay, so that would be all for this week.